Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is one of my special videos on Miss T Styles books, Miss Wayne and the Queen of DC. Okay, now for a long time, for the last past four years, to be honest with you, I have been meaning to get this book. So today I was at um Urban Knowledge Bookstore, Jay's bookstore, and I seen it, it kept looking back at me. And I kept debating, like, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? I got it. Um, and I just gotta say, T Styles digs her, digs her soul into this book as well. One thing I've always loved about T Styles, she has always represented the LGBT community um, with grace, class. Never wrote anything disrespectfully. Um, always did a lot of the um, characteristics down to the T. And honey, when I tell you these queens are messy and shady. And more brutal than um some of these uh dudes out here that's hustling. These are some ruthless ass queens, honey. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you they're ruthless as hell. Anyway, um, you got Miss Wayne, who is the main character, of course. You remember him from Black and Ugly and Black as Ugly as Ever, with his girls Parade, Sky, and Daphne. Um, as everyone knows, Daphne is HIV positive. Um so he's helping her with that as they run their boutique, him and Parade, out in L.A. He comes home because Daphne's mother has been basically a, a trick, tricking for drugs, you know. And basically her bad habits caught up to her and she ended up dead. So they, you know, they come back to the funeral and stuff. Of course, you got Miss Wayne, Queen, your friends, Tyrone. Child, that boy's a mess. He is, like, doing too much for me. And I never, I didn't like him from the jump when I was reading the book. I'm just like, he's just too messy and do too much. Now, it's okay to be a queen, honey, because, honey, I'm queeny myself. But I don't, I can't do that all that loudness and too much for you, okay? And plus, some of these queens are shady. Some of them got big mouths, honey. See, me, I like to keep mine. But, but anyway, then you have Adrian, who's, I like Adrian. You know, it's something about Adrian that really draws me to me. He's like the little brother, the little runner of the group, and, you know, Tyrone used that to advantage, because for me, Tyrone is a big-ass bully, okay? Miss Tyrone or Miss Fake Titties and Fake Girl. And then on top of that, Miss Miss Tyrone was married to, to a um to a woman, um, Shannon. And they, I think they have a child together. They have a son together, yes. Um, Avil, he was 13. And this is what kills me about Shannon for a little bit. Girl, as a woman, Especially if you know your man is, um, okay, if your man is bisexual, this is my personal opinion. If your man is bisexual, fine. I mean, if you don't mind, cool. Um, as long as you get up in the bedroom. But your man has admitted to you, hey, I am gay. He does not get turned on by you. And you're so desperate to be with this man that you basically just said, um, fuck your family and to be with him. And it just... She disgusted me throughout the whole book, and it's sad to have a man, to be so pressed for a man who obviously doesn't feel any romantic or sexual attraction to you. Um, you're so pressed for a man. It, anyway, um, I, I could go on about her all day, but she's starting to give me a headache with her boob with her BS. Child, um, then you have um, Miss Deshaun. Now I like Miss Deshaun. You know he is loyal to both Tyrone and Miss Wayne, and Miss Wayne, that's my girl, honey. She is the type of person she would not put up with no BS from nobody, nobody at all. So I, I like Miss Wayne, honey. Don't don't get it twisted. I love me some Miss Wayne. I like them from the beginning of um Black and Ugly Half, especially when he kicked on Miss Officer D. Hurt, honey. Woo! Got your police officer. Shoot, I need me one of them girls. Excuse me, your tricks. But anyway, <laughs> and not only does the book have those curses in it. It still deals with um, Parade and Jay's marriage. Um, it deals with um, Daphne and, you know, um, her dealing with the HIV AIDS virus. It deals with a lot of lessons you learn, such as the friendships, you know, um, just um, a lot of shadiness with the balls and the gay community. And like I said, this takes place in Southeast Washington, D.C. That's where I'm from. And that's what T-Styles T is, is from. That's why I'm like, you know what? I definitely rock with her because she's from, like, southeast where I'm from. But anyway, um, I definitely love this book. I definitely truly enjoy this book like a lot of cartel books I truly enjoy. Um, 
And I just gotta say, this is one of my one of the good reads from 2014. Even though the book came out in 2013, this was a good read I read for 2014 also. And like I said, this is one of my one of a, a, one of the best LGBT books I read that is um, fiction. Anyway, um, I definitely thank you guys for watching. I definitely thank you guys for supporting a lot of the um, videos I have on books, media, and stuff. Um, and I will be posting a link below for um, Miss um, Wayne, the Queens of DC. And also, if you have not checked out my Silence of the Nine review, I will link that below as well, and as, as well as the link for Silence of the Nine in my um, in the info bar as well. Thank you guys for watching Books, Beauty, and Stuff. Thank you guys for supporting a lot of the authors I have. And on my channel, thank you guys so much. I know I'm maybe kind of off, but I am exhausted. Like, it's been a long day. Like, literally, and I need to take my ass to bed. So, anyway, um, I will take you, take, see you guys later. And you guys take care, and I will see you in the next video. Happy reading, and talk to you later. Bye.